brand new welcome to my channel like it's really really been a long while you guys saw my face on this youtube channel and i'm so excited to be here once again show you my face you know to share one or two tips um here on my channel so if it's your first time here like you're new here you've not seen me before you've not seen the face behind this channel well it's me it's makawi's case and um I'm here. I'm glad to have you here on my channel. And um, in this video, I will teach you guys, or let us say, I will show you the secrets to what? Some um, secret tips to a stabilized whipped cream. So, if it's something you're interested to know, or uh, you really, really want to know the secrets to what to achieving a stabilized whipped cream without melting, then I want you to stay tuned on this channel. Do not go away. All right, welcome back, guys. Okay, um, the number one secret tips um, that I'm going to share with you on my channel is what um, using the right measurements. You know, um, on social media, I've seen a lot of bakers, you know, complaining about the fact that you know their, their recipe of whipped cream is melting, is this, is that. You know, you know, the one tip I want to actually share here is what use the right measurement. Now, whipped cream. Well, I would say it's, let me, I don't know if I should say it's complicated, kind of. Well, it can be only complicated to you if you don't understand how it works. You don't, I've been using this thing for like years now, and the more I use it, the more I get to what, understand how it works, okay? So, um, if your measurement is not right, trust me, you will definitely get it wrong. And the only way you can get it right is what, you know, understand the measurement that works for you. For instance, if you're doing um, 100 gram of whipped cream and you're using like probably one cup of milk or water, definitely it's gonna be light. Yes, it's gonna be light. So that's the number one tip. Your measurements should be accurate. Your measurements should be properly measured. Use the right recipe, okay? So the second tip is what? Avoid over whipping it. Now, like I said, the first tip, if a measurement calls for 100 gram of um, whipped cream, and then why are you over whipping it? Do you understand? The minutes you are using to whip for 200 gram is different with that of what 100 gram. Now, this is where a lot of people miss the secret out. You know, I, I notice a lot of bakers, you know, actually follow what's been written or the instructions that have been written on the pack. But like I said, the more you use this whipped cream, the more you get to understand what works or how it works. And, and at, at the end of the day, you try to discover what works for you. So if you're doing 100 gram of um, whipped cream and you're whipping it for four to five minutes, definitely it's gonna be light. So you don't have to over whip it. Do you understand? I'm sharing with you guys my most secret, <laughs> secret, secret, secret tips of my own um, whipped cream. So that is it. Do not over whip um, your whipped cream. So because if you're doing 500 gram of whipped cream, definitely you're going to whip it for like, you know, probably four minutes or five minutes so that it can double in sizes properly and also maintain that, you know, stiff peak. But if you're doing 100 gram or 150 gram, you're not supposed to whip it for like that's four minutes because there are two different measurements. Do you understand? There are two different recipes. So guys, um, know what you get online. I know there are different kind of recipes about whipped cream online. But the thing I can actually say here is that do what works for you. Study your measurements. And when you study your measurement, you will definitely discover the one that works for you because what works for Baker A might not work for Baker B. Do you guys understand me? So, know your measurement right, that's number one. And secondly, what do not over with because there are different times. You know, the time is different. The time you might gonna use to whip 100 gram is different for what you're gonna use to whip for what 500 gram. So, that's an example, okay? I hope you understand that part. So the third one is what? Um, use cold liquid. That's another secret tip. Whatever liquid you're using should be very, very cold. You can use um, the milk, the liquid milk, or you can use water. 
you know, um, for liquid milk, um, the thing about liquid milk is that, you know, it helps, you know, it likes, it's more like um, helps it in volume, in terms of volume, yes. And then uh, for the water, it just there. So you can either use water or you can use um, liquid milk. There are, there are affordable good brands out there that you can use for your whipped cream, which is some of the liquid milk. Yes, there are good brands out there in stores, from market, they can actually buy. So it, it should be very, very cold. When I mean cold, I don't mean ordinary cold. There's a difference between cold and cold. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain that, but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. The difference between cold and cold, like cold, they get me. So your liquid should be very, very cold, extremely cold. That's how you can what achieve a stabilized whip cream, like so that by the time you whip it, it remains or maintains that stiff peak that you actually want. Okay, you understand? Now the one, the, the fourth one is what um freeze your bowl. Well, for this number four, for me. I do not freeze my bowl, but um, let's just say as a beginner, it's very, let's just say as a beginner, you can freeze your bowl. But for me, this particular one is not really important or necessary for me because for me, I don't really do that. But if you want to, you can, for that extra stiff thickness, you can actually what freeze your bowl if you want. Because I also noticed that even if you freeze your bowl, it helps that stiff peak, yes. It also helps to maintain that stiff peak, okay? So, but it's kind of optional. If you like feasible, if you don't like it, not feasible. But the most part is that if you have the right recipe, if you have the right measurement, trust me, even if you don't freeze your bowl, you will still maintain or you will still achieve that stiff peak you're looking for, okay? So just follow these necessary tips and you definitely will get um, the right stiff peak that you will cream, okay? So the guys, um, the fifth one is what, um, after whipping your whipping cream, it's very, um, let me just say, it's, it's actually advisable to um, store the whipped cream in the freezer for probably 10 minutes, for 5 to 10 minutes before you use it on your cakes, okay? Because I noticed that, you know, when you do that, it, the freezer helps it to, you know, to, um, act, to maintain that stiff thickness. I don't know if you guys understand me, yes. I noticed that for a very long time and it's, you know that's another tip or another tip you guys should what understand okay you should take notes of that so when you're done um whipping it try to keep it in the fridge freezer yeah go for fridge might take longer time but for if you have an active freezer like what i mean active really really active freezer probably three minutes is enough for you to what um put it in the freezer before you use it on your case okay so guys um that's all about the whipped cream and um if you have a leftover you can actually store it in the freezer there's no point you know throwing it away or panic whether it's gonna be okay if you have any leftover you can store it in the freezer not fridge freezer okay take note of that and if you want to use it probably for your cupcake next time or for any other kind of cake you can bring it out allow it to thaw and then you what whip it all over again and then you use it for your cakes okay so guys that's all about the secret tips towards achieving a stabilized whipped cream and if you really really want to know more or you have probably you, you know more about this whipped cream but your recipe is something not to write about or it's melting because even if you know the tips even if you know the tips are like you know the secrets and you don't have a a perfect recipe or a perfect measurement trust me guys you will still be having whipped cream issues because you know because i see it especially on instagram a lot of because still have this issue of whipped cream with me right and i keep wondering like how so guys um like i said if you know all the secret tips and at the same time you really don't have a good recipe trust me you will still not get it right and the only way you can have that perfect recipe is what you know get the right measurement get the right recipe but if you don't have it i'm here to help you because i have this particular measurement and recipe that can stay for 24 hours and currently you no know, i have students that actually bought the course for me i you know one of the students said that she doesn't have any fridge 
She said that um, you know she does not have any fridge, and you know she whipped the thing. She whipped it. I used to ice her cake, and it did not melt. This is someone that says she does not have any fridge or a freezer. So what are you waiting for? Is the whipped cream still melting, or you're still afraid? Your skin scared to take that whipped cream job. So then you definitely need to click on the link. But before that, let me just quickly apologize. I'm sure you guys can hear some background noise behind. I don't know, in Nigeria we did now, so that's generator sound, okay? If you're in Nigeria, then you should definitely understand what I'm talking about. My neighbor just turned on the generator, and now we say I don't finish my video with my humble on gen. But then let's just remain focused, okay? Just focus on the video and listen to what I've been saying, okay? So, um, if you really want to get my recipe, then you definitely need to click on the link. There's a link below this video on the description box. Click on the link and chat me up so that you can get my recipe. And of course, it's not free. It's not free of charge. So if you're tired of getting recipe here and there on social media, on the internet, and you've not gotten the right one, let me help you. Let me help your ministry. Let me help. I want to help you. I want to join the thousands of bakers that has testified to this recipe. Okay? So just chat me up. Just click on the link. Chat me up. And then, um, of course, you're going to make your payment. It's just 2000 never. It's more money. Like, it's not up to the data you spend in a month. Okay? So just 2000 never. And with your 2000 never, definitely you're going to get the um, the recipe, my own recipe, yes, it's my special recipe. You're going to get it. And like I said, it's gonna, it can stay for 24 hours without melting, okay? So, um, guys, we come to the end of the video. And if you, if you actually gain one or two things in this video, please kindly click on the subscribe button. Like, just support me. If my videos has really, really helped you, in your career, your baking career, your business, like my videos have really helped you a lot. And you've not subscribed, come on guys, come on, just, you know, support me. Your thank you is my word, clicking on the subscribe button to get notification on when I upload the video. That's the support you can actually show me on this channel. And of course, please like the video and drop some nice comments. That will also encourage me to put up more videos for you guys, okay? Once again, guys, thank you so much. And do not forget to work, click on the link to chat me up and get your own recipe. And also, it's not free. With 2000 Deva, you're going to get my special recipe. So, guys, I'm going to see you in my next video. And thank you so much for sticking around with me. Thank you for watching. And have an amazing time while watching this video. So, it's a goodbye from me to you. Bye, guys.